All right, what's up guys? This is the Law Abiding Savage. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and do part two of my gun collection. The first one, if you guys have not seen it, go check it out after this video. Uh, if you have, hope you liked it. And the first one was my pistol collection. And today we're gonna get into my long guns. And so without further ado, let's kind of jump right into it. My first gun um, that I'm gonna bring up is of course, the GSG 16 chambered in 22 uh, long rifle. This is a pretty cool uh, weapon. I will do this. So apparently for the monetization and stuff like that, you can't insert and take out magazines uh, on camera. But uh, just to make sure that you guys know that it is clear. I actually like this kind of thing. Sorry, I'm left-handed, but uh, it has a slap feature. So boom, when you're ready to do it, just give it a little slap and let me insert this back in and we are good. GSG 16, it's just a fun, cool little uh, gun. This is not a suppressor, it is a faux um, uh, suppressor or a, a barrel shroud, I think another word for it is. Um, so it basically just makes the barrel um, or makes the gun look a little cooler. I'm proud to have this one, I can't wait to uh, just kind of change it up a little bit and I'll explain right now. And that is of course the AK-47, baby. This is the Pioneer Arms uh, Sporter version. And uh, it's my first and only AK. It is clear. I know you guys can't see the chamber, uh, but it's because I'm left-handed. I have not shot it yet. It is um, uh, chambered in 762 by 39. Uh, it's just a beautiful gun. It's my first of hopefully many AKs that I will buy. But one thing that I do want to do to this, uh, I will say, is I want to put the classic traditional wood furniture on it. Eventually, I'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, but for now, uh, this looks dope. And uh, man, I'm super happy with it. Can't wait to shoot it. All right, y'all. Next, we are going to jump into some of my hunting rifles. And uh, we're going to start off with the one that I bought for my son. And that is the Rossi. Uh, model 22 and 22 long rifle. This is a cool little plinking gun. If you haven't got this, um, check it out. If you have a, a child, uh, a wife who's not very comfortable with shooting yet, or just any new shooter, um, or even an experienced shooter, um, take it out, check it out, and go get one. They're only like, I think I paid like just over a hundred bucks for it, and they are super cool. Let me just quickly, got a little excited there, but let me clear it for you guys. And um, yeah, these things are super cool. Uh, they hold 10 rounds in these small magazines. I haven't found any extended mags, um, but they are fun just to have. They have these little fiber optic uh, sights, makes it so that you can see the targets a little easier. And uh, these things are also very accurate right out of the box. So definitely a fun gun to have. All right, so I bought my son that 22 long rifle, uh, the Rossi that I just showed you guys. So eventually I was back in the store. I said, I gotta get myself something cool, a little 22 outside of the GSG 16 that I already had. And so I decided to pick up the Savage Arms Model 64. And this is a cool one. It's a little bit bigger than the Rossi. And uh, let me go ahead and clear this as well. I have not sighted in this uh, scope. Uh, but I can't wait to get out there and sight this in uh, right now. So, so far, I've just been shooting uh, through the iron sights and it's been wonderful. So again, the Savage Arms Model 64, uh, chambered a 22 long rifle. All right, guys, we got one more hunting rifle and that is my Savage Arms um, or Savage Axis in 308. This is kind of my big boy. And this is a pretty cool one. Again, I uh, gotta take the mag out, let you guys see. This is actually a bolt action rifle. Definitely something uh, that I was excited to get. Uh, put a bipod on there, uh, came with a Weaver scope. But yeah, Savage Axis and 308. It's a great gun, shoots awesome. I did sight this in already. And um, yeah, it shoots, shoots awesome. So can't complain about this. Uh, if you are interested in it, um, they are not expensive. I think I paid 350, 360 out the door. All right, next rifle on the list is my very first AR-15. Um, this is the Dalton. It's a just a simple budget 
uh, rifle that I picked up um, when I first moved to North Carolina. I was interested in getting some of the stuff that I couldn't get in California. And this was the first one I picked up. Uh, this started with all black furniture. Everything was uh, pretty basic, basic stock. Um, you know, the factory grip, um, pretty much everything. And I eventually switched it pretty much all up. I mean, I literally switched everything. Uh, the hand guard is different. Uh, put a vertical grip, um, the uh, safety selector, an ambi charging handle. You know what? I don't think I cleared this. Boom. Safety first. So let's clear that. And we are good. Do this off. And oh, cool thing right here. See that baby? America. <laughs> so just a little dust cover with the American flag. Uh, but yeah, I just put a couple of different things on here. Uh, this is just a sight mark red dot. It actually has held zero. I know it's not something I would take into combat, um, but it is held zero for you know what I have used this for. And uh, the buttstock is like the basic Magpul um, buttstock. You can find them for 40 bucks, something like that. Collapsible buttstock. And it is chambered in 5.56223. And it's just a great piece. It's definitely, this is one of my lightest uh, uh, rifles. So it's uh, pretty cool. All right, let's move on. All right, let's jump into my next AR-15. And here it is. This is the Radical Firearms 16-inch barrel. Uh, this is, like I said before, um, I have an upgraded stock on this one. This is the CTR. Just a much thicker um, cheek, um, cheek well rest cheek rest, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do have my sling on here, kind of hold it down um, with the uh, Ranger Band. I uh, have the Sight Mark Red Dot and Magnifier, 3X Magnifier. Uh, switched out the grip for a Magpul. This is a Troy, um, Troy something uh, vertical grip. It's kind of all metal. It'll also collapse into a smaller one. Just a simple Protec. Um, Weapon mounted light and some pop up, um, some pop up uh, sights just to have, obviously, in case something goes wrong with these guys here. Again, this is um, also chambered in 556223. Five, and this is one of my favorite ones to shoot, but uh, man, I have made this thing extremely heavy. Um, and again, sorry, I just I got excited. I ain't gonna lie, I got excited and forgot to clear the gun. Um, but uh, again, also this one has an ambi, uh, ambi uh, uh, charging handle with the America desk cover. And uh, so you can't hate on that. But yeah, nothing too crazy. I know there's tons of better ones out here, but this one's mine and I'm proud of it. And um, yeah, definitely um, uh, love this, uh, love this rifle. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, so technically this next one was supposed to be in my pistol collection because it is still a pistol. However, I forgot to put it in there. And not only that, but the uh, SBR uh, paperwork is in paperwork jail. And I'm just waiting for that to get cleared. And that is my 300 Blackout um, Noreen Firearms 8.5 inch um, chambered in 300 Blackout. Um, this is a really cool um little pistol as of now it is a pistol it is clear and uh it's chambered in 300 blackout like i said so far i've just put some basic flip up sights and a little uh full or angled grip obviously i can't put a vertical grip yet um also you know i can't put a stock yet um and i took off the brace so i'm definitely going to um as soon as i get back my uh tax stamp uh, throw on a stock um, for it and go from there. Eventually, I want to also get it suppressed. So basically, this would be considered my dream gun. Um, obviously, it's not complete yet. Um, so I still want to throw on a stock. I want to get a good red dot. And I also want to suppress it um, and then, you know, buy a bunch of uh, subsonic 300 blackout and have that as a home defense. But other than that, yeah, this is definitely a pistol. I know it's in my long gun collection, but soon and very soon, hopefully, uh, the paperwork will come out of jail and this will be an SBR. So, uh, yeah, definitely proud of this guy to uh, love it. All right, guys. So the last couple of guns are going to be my shotguns. And let's go ahead and start off with uh, this guy here. This is my 
Citadel PAT, which is a, a tactical version shotgun. Kind of have the, you know, the, uh, the little extra things on it. Little red dot, has some pretty cool sights. Um, little flashlight, nothing too crazy. You know, it's a definitely a budget Turkish uh, shotgun. Um, nothing against the Turkish, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, they don't obviously make the best guns, but it is fun to shoot. I've shot it. I have had a few hiccups with it, but nothing too major, and it's not going to be my home defense gun. It's something just for fun that I have in the collection. So yeah, Citadel PAT. Oh, and by the way, all the shotguns that I will be showing right now are chambered in 12 gauge. Uh, they're all in 12 gauge, so just to uh, give you a little FYI. All right, moving on to the next Citadel 12 gauge. This is my semi-automatic um, Citadel Warthog. Um, kind of just put a little, um, geez, I forgot what these things are called, a little uh, side saddle kind of thing. Um, did some wrap on here. This is just some of that adhesive wrap that I put around it. And uh, yeah, this is also fun to shoot. I haven't had any hiccups with this one. So for being a Turkish cheap budget gun, whatever you want to call it, um, this one has done very well. All right, guys, second to last shotgun. This is uh, one of my favorite. Um, for a little season, I kind of got into like old school stuff. And this is one of them. It is a case hardened uh, side by side, 12 gauge. Side by side, you guys all know the good old Almer Fudd old school uh, uh, side by side double barrel shotguns and it's just an old school one it's called the J Stevens Springfield from my understanding it's almost a hundred years old but I'm not a hundred percent sure and so definitely one of my favorite to shoot and uh, just an awesome gun to have so let's move on to the very last one all right guys and last but not least one of my favorites the uh, coach gun supreme some of you guys have heard of this 12 gauge beauty um, so they have the regular coach gun um, side by side shotguns this is the supreme which is nickel plated and it's just a beautiful shotgun that I came across at a pawn shop a while back and as soon as I saw it I fell in love with it and grabbed it this thing is awesome to shoot but I gotta tell you this thing kicks like a mule, but I mean, you'll be fine. Definitely one of my favorite guns. And that is uh, the last one. And that ends my gun collection. Again, thank you for coming to my channel, The Law Abiding Savage. And until next time, you guys have a great one and I'll see you soon.